hemisphere is a three-dimensional figure that's half a sphere. This means the volume of a hemisphere is going to be worth half the volume of a sphere with the same dimensions. Let's see if we can use this relationship to find an equation for volume of hemispheres. Well, we know volume of a hemisphere is going to be half the volume of a sphere. To find volume of a sphere, we can do 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. So 1 half times 4 thirds times pi times radius cubed. Well, right away we see we can go ahead and multiply together our fractions. 1 half times 4 thirds is going to give me 4 six. So we have 4 six pi radius cubed. 4 six is not in lowest terms, so we can go ahead and simplify that to 2 thirds. That gives us 2 thirds pi radius cubed. That's as far as we can go with simplifying this equation. So if we want to find volume of a hemisphere directly, we can solve 2 thirds times pi times radius cubed. Let's test to see if our equation is true. In our previous video about spheres, we saw the volume of this sphere with a radius of 3 centimeters comes out to be 113 and 4 hundredths cubic centimeters. That means the volume of the hemisphere would be half that. So if we use the relationship that a hemisphere is worth half the volume of a sphere, we can find its volume by doing 1 half times 113 and 4 hundredths. That means the volume of our hemisphere should come out to be 56 and 52 hundredths cubic centimeters. Well, let's test our equation to see if we get the same result. Volume is going to be 2 thirds times 3.14 times radius cubed, or 3.14 times 3 cubed. 3 cubed is worth 27, so that means we have 2 thirds times 3.14 times 27. Let's go ahead and multiply our decimal and our whole number first, and we'll come back and pick up our fraction at the end. So that means we have 2 thirds times 84 and 78 hundredths. When we take 2 thirds of that value, that also comes out to be 56 and 52 hundredths cubic centimeters. So we can see that our equation does give us the same volume as simply finding the volume of half a sphere with the same dimensions.